Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given a linear two-port network, and as you can see, on the port one side of this network, a 10 volt voltage source is connected, and on the port two side, a variable resistor R is connected. So here, this R is varied, and the voltage on the port two, that is a V2 and the I2 are measured. So here, we have been also given the plot for this V2 versus minus I2. So this plot shows as the value of the R changes, then how the voltage V2 and I2 varies. So now in the same network, this variable resistor R is replaced by the load which is given in the figure C. So with this load, here we have been asked to find this current I2. So now let us see how to find the value of this current I2. So here, this is the two port network which is given to us in the question. So as I said, on the port one side, a 10 volt voltage source is connected and on the port 2 side this variable resistor R is connected. So here we do not know the structure of this given network. But here since the given network is the linear network, so what we can do? We can replace this part of the circuit with the Thevenin's equivalent voltage in series with the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. That means here we can replace this part of the circuit with the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. And on the right hand side of this terminal AB, we will have this variable resistor. So here, this load current IL is the current that is flowing through this variable resistor R. So as you can see over here, this IL is equal to minus I2. So now, based on this simplified circuit, we can do the further analysis. So here, we have been given that, as the value of the variable R changes, then how the value of the voltage V2 and I2 changes. So basically, here we have been given the plot, for this V2 versus minus I2. And with the help of it, we can find the value of this VTH and the RTH. So let us see how. So here, for the simplified circuit, if we apply the KVL, then we can write this voltage VTH is equal to IL times RTH plus V2, where this V2 is the voltage across this variable resistor R. So here, as per this given plot, when the value of the current I2 is equal to 0, then this V2 is equal to 5 volt. And since the I2 is 0, it means that this IL is equal to also 0. Or in this condition, this R will act as an open circuit. So if we put these values in the above expression, then this V2 is equal to VTH, and that is equal to 5 volt. So in this way, we got the value of the VTH. So now, we can write this expression as, this phi is equal to IL times RTH plus V2. Now here, we have been given that, when this minus I2 is equal to 4 milliampere, then this V2 is equal to 4 volt. So when this I2 is equal to minus 4 ampere, so we can say that this IL is equal to 4 milliampere. Because here, this IL is equal to minus I2. So now, if we put these values in the above expression, then we can say that this phi is equal to 4 milliampere times RTH plus 4 volt. Or we can say that this RTH is equal to 1 volt divided by 4 milliampere that is equal to 250 ohm. So in this way, we also got the value of the RTH. So now, if you see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So now in this circuit, even if the load changes, then also the circuit on the left hand side of this terminal AB will remain the same. So now, in the question we have been given that this variable resistor R is replaced by this another load. And now, if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So now, with this circuit, we have been asked to find the value of the current I2. So here, just by applying the KVL in the given circuit, we can easily find the value of the current I2. So here, this current I2 is equal to 10 volt minus 5 volt divided by the summation of these two resistors. That is equal to 250 ohm plus 1000 ohm. So that is equal to 5 volt divided by 1 to 50 ohm. And that is equal to 4 milliampere. So in this way, with this given circuit, the value of the current I2 is equal to 4 milliampere. And therefore, for the given question, the answer is equal to 4 milliampere.